We were just talking about a crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we were just talking about a crackhead. I was, I was at my, uh, my dad's house, um, for Father's Day. Okay. And my family was there and we were sitting around outside telling stories and there was a neighborhood kid, uh, who, Got, you know, hooked on crack, you know, and drugs and shit. Holy shit. And, uh, I won't say his name either. Let's say Tom. (laughs) But, uh, he, he, crackheads are like, they become like something else, like a different, like it's crazy. Like, yeah. And I, and I mean, I'm, I'm saying this in it with a comical slant. Like they're everywhere at once. Like this kid. He he would see you every day, no matter where you are in Staten Island. Really? Crackhead, they just roam. They just roam, and they, he uh-huh. would always he would always like I cannot tell you, I swear to you, how many times he would just come out of a bush. Really? Like yeah, like just like oh, and like and you'd see like the like the bush shake, and like he'd come out like Sally, and, <laughs> and you know, we, we and then you're like oh fuck, it's fucking Tom man. <laughs> Good I'm, not, I'm not even kidding around. Yeah. Like, I guess, like, like, because, like, when we were kids, like, you basically walk everywhere, right? You take your bike or you walk everywhere, okay. and you know, we stay, you stay within a couple of neighborhoods sure. of your house, but there's a you know x mile radius that you're walking around. Right. But that's what you did all day. And when school was out, like, you took your bike, you went to the store, you went to the playground, you went to this, you went to your friends, but you're always on the streets. Right. And as a crackhead. Uh, you're always, you got nowhere to go. Sure. Like he, his mom wouldn't let him in a lot. Like he was trying to kick you know, So he was on the streets, probably crashing at people's houses. So he was always on the streets. So like, even when we were like two neighborhoods over, like he was, cause what he's, he's always looking for a ride or money or a favor. Cause right. he always needs to get more crack. So he'd always be like, as soon as you saw him, yo, you got a dollar, you got two dollars. And they, they just, you know it. It's a very common thing. You, he, they just lie everything out of their mouth sure. to lie. It's like, yo, I, I just got to get on the bus because I got to get here. I have an appointment. Right, or, right. yo, you got to do me a favor. I just, I just, uh, I lost my wallet and I just need two bucks and whatever it is. Right. And they always ask some money. And then when we got old enough, he, he was, a, he was like a career crackhead. Like he, he became a crackhead when we were young right. and then kept being a crackhead like all the way to like, like when we were like in, in college. Okay. So then we had cars. And I'm not fucking with you. We, I'd be at a red light, like like three neighborhoods over. He would literally just go, and I'd look at it's him at my fucking window. He's like, Sally, let me get a ride, man, Sally. He's like, yo, my girl just kicked me out. I just got to, and he would open my door and jump in. Oh, my God. Yeah, but so we, now you have a crackhead in the car. Crackhead, full blown. And right. we, But we knew him and his family for years. He's from the neighborhood. Right. So it's like, oh, it's just Tom. But then again, it's like, yo, I, I, everyone tried to avoid Tom. All right. Right? So, like, everyone. And be like, yo, don't go down that way. Tom's down that way. <laughs> I swear right. to God. And he would just – a lot of times he'd just be walking around like box of shorts and a T-shirt. Oh, my God. Like, what no, a horrible existence. No shoes. Like, yeah, it, it, I know. Uh, I know. I think he's rehabilitated now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But he would just be like – and, and dude, the, the worst is when you're with people <laughs> that, like, don't know him. And then he's like, Sam! Because right. it was he was like that kind of guy too, like a neighborhood guy. Like, yo, Sally, what's up, Sal? Oh, Sally's my boy. Yo, how's your father? How's your mother? How's your sister doing? Right. Oh, yeah, me and Sal, good. And he would just go, they would talk a mile a minute. Right. Then he'd go. And he really did know us because we knew him. So he would go on and on and be like, yo, me and Sal, this and that. Let me tell you something about Sal. And he would just talk about right. him in the high on crack. And I'm like, oh, my God, those guys. Are <laughs> thinking of it. Right. Did you have some when he walked away, be like, that's an, just the name of crack guy? You, yes. you have to, right? Yes. You have to repair your own reputation. Yes. One time, uh, Jay Brocco. Remember Jay Brocco? Sure, of course. So one time we were in college. Right. And Jay, I, I was in Jay's car. I was, when was the last time you saw Jay Brocco? Um, I saw... It's seen him physically. It's been quite some time. It's really? probably been like ten years. Did he keep his hair? Or did he lose his hair? He has his hair. All right, because that was a head of hair on that kid. He's, he had good hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him. I saw. I was buying a mountain bike in Kmart, and I saw him and his wife. Really? Like okay. Ten years ago. Really? I think he's doing well though. I, I just recently heard something about him. But I hope. I hope it was well. Okay. Him. Anyway, sorry. You were with he's, Jay he's driving, and we're at a light on the service road by my deli. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And, and right there, and and J- and Jay's in the car, and I'm in the and I'm in the passenger seat. I think my sister Jenna was with us for some reason in the right. back seat, and we're at the light, and fi- <laughs> I didn't understand what you just said, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, right? We will just all of a sudden we just right. heard 
a car door and we turned around and Tom was in the back seat. In the car. He didn't, he didn't ask. <laughs> he didn't ask. He didn't knock. He didn't say hello right. to me first. He didn't know who was driving. Right. He guess he just saw me and it's just like, I'm allowed to do this. Right. And the door just slammed closed. I look back. It's Jenna and fucking Tom the crackhead <laughs> in the back seat. And I was right. like, oh, hey. And I wasn't at a point yet where I, I never was disrespectful to the guy. Sure. I felt bad. Right. But also he was so aggressive. In a way that like made you like disabled in a way because he'd be like, "Yo, Sally, I love you, man," right. and you're like, "All right, I guess I love you too." Like I don't know what to say. Sure. And so he jumped in. He's like, and Jay driving the car did not know of this person. Sure. So he jumps in, and Jay was like, "What the?" And my friend's like, "Oh, yo, Sally," and he's like, "Oh," and my friend's like freaking out. He's like, and he's like, "Yo, yo, sorry, bro. Yo, me and Sally were like," this. he was always say that. Yeah. He, this is like family right here. He's like my family. Really? He's like, "Yo, I need a ride real quick." You, he's like, "I was, I was just in wait for the bus, but it takes too long. Can you just drive me up here real quick?" <laughs> so my friend's like, "I guess." So he's like, "Yeah, yeah." And then this is like the third or fourth time Tom did this to us. What he would be doing was he needed a ride to the crack house. Oh, oh, now you got your little sister in the car with a crackhead yes, going to a crack house. Yes, but I didn't really like. I was a yeah. little naive sometimes. I didn't know. Sure. Because sometimes it wasn't the crack house, but he would never tell you where. He'd be like, "Yo, yo, make a quick right. Yo, make a quick left." Right, right. right? And so he was. And so my friends like, "All right, so uh, we make a right oh. on Taji. Make a right on Taji. Oh, right on Taji is okay. The wrong direction. Go down, and then we're in Park Hill. <laughs> right, right, right. And we we make a couple Park Hill, <laughs> the Killer Hills, the Wu Tang. That's where they're. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what comes out of Park Hill, the Wu Tang. <laughs> there you go. Right. Yes. Uh, and I have friends and family that live in Park Hill too. But I'm uh, saying, there's a, uh, see, not there's, disparaging, there's houses, not disparaging the good people of Park yeah, Hill at cra- all. There's crack houses. So he goes, Yo, make a right, make a left, make a right, and then he, we pull up to a, like a ta- like a. You know, a dilapidated like like house, right? Uh, like a, like a, like townhouses connected. And he's like, he's like, yo, he, he kept telling us he just has to go see his girlfriend to pick something up. And so my friend's like, all right, but my friend isn't like necessarily like this is a full blown crackhead taking me to a crack house, mm-hmm. but he definitely was. Tensions were high a little bit, right? And I'm like, yeah, all right, Phil. You know, and we pull up, and then he goes, uh, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, yo, just wait here, I'll be right back. <laughs> And like he jumped. Now you're expected to wait for that. And you know he's coming back with a pocket full of crack. Yeah, he jumped out and he like went into the house. And my friend looks at me. He's like, what are we supposed to do? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't know he was going to say that. He didn't wait for an answer. So I just, we were really caught between being decent and peeling out and just, we should have just peeled out. Of course. We should have just peeled out. Yeah, but you didn't. So my friend's like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, look, all right, we'll wait a minute. If if he's longer than a minute, I don't care. All of a sudden, we're, we're, the car's running. We're pulling on the side of the road. I, my friend like pulled up. So we were like maybe 20, 30 feet past the house that he went in. All of a sudden, we see him run. Get out. Out of the house and just start yelling, go, go, go. Dude, I swear to God. My friend's like, what? What was he saying? I'm like, he's running at us going like this. Go, go, go. So my friend starts driving, but like, you know, five, ten miles, five miles an hour, just like – Pull away without him because he was running at us still. And then he he started running alongside the car and jumped in the car. And oh he, my! And then he's like, God. "Go, go, 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 go!" My friend just peeled out, and we just like left there without a doubt. Something fucked up happened. Yeah, you know, maybe he like stole something or he didn't pay or the guy. Well, what did he say? What, what? He didn't say nothing. He did, I, I don't remember, but he didn't say what happened. He probably just told more lies. But oh yeah, so well, that is harrowing. Man. I know, dude. Yeah. I know. Ever since then, it's like so. We were just talking lock about your that. fucking doors. We were just talking you know. about that. My dad's house. How yeah. you should just always pop out of the bushes and be like, "Yo, this is my family." <laughs> oh wow! It's like, can you not pop out of the bushes in your underwear and tell everyone <laughs> I'm your family member, please? <laughs> like every time I see you, you're coming out of uh, out of the brush, right? In like fucking tattered boxers and telling everyone I'm your fucking favorite family member. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Crack is you messed up, kids. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Oof. Wow. All right. All that from the World Cup. That's how we got. That's how we got to, to Tom the Dragon. Yeah. I don't remember the exact lineage. Because the Brazilian women.